Hey, I'm Robin and this is BitBirdie, and I'm finally here for devlog number 9. This past week, I managed to find some time to get an actual gun into the player's hand. This is a wooden gun that shoots rocks, and I'm thinking it'll be the starter gun. Of course, you'll eventually be able to unlock more extravagant guns as you progress in the game. Let's look at what's going on in the actual gunshot. When you shoot, it plays a little animation with two elements, a plume of smoke and an explosion of twigs. For the bullets, I just drew a rock-like blob and had it rotate while it was moving. There are also these trails behind the bullets, and the way I did that was based off this tutorial by Kryperdev, but mine ends up looking pretty different to his, so I'm planning on making a quick tutorial for it on my channel as well. So when the bullet hits something, there's another little explosion animation. This time with some rock crumbs and an expanding circle thingy. And finally, when the enemy gets hit, it also gets knocked back a little bit. The last thing I'm going to talk about is the player's hands. Did any of you notice that there's actually a hand that's holding the gun now? Before, the gun kind of just floated beside the player while the hands just did their own thing. The way I did this was, I exported the player's body and hands separately so that they could be on different sprite nodes. Then, I added the hands into the existing player animations. I also created this floating gun hand sprite that actually holds the gun and follows it when it switches sides. And when that floating hand is there, the normal hand that's part of the original hand sprite disappears. If you're wondering how I managed to hide a part of a sprite, there are a few ways to do it, but the way I chose to do it was with the Light2D node. So I gave this Light2D node a texture that's just white on one half of a square and transparent on the other. If I were to overlay this texture on here, it would be white on this half of the player and transparent on this half of the player. What this is doing is it's basically hiding whatever is in the alpha, as long as this item call mask layer matches the thing that it's trying to hide here. What you'd normally use this feature for is having only parts of your scene lit up and everything else hidden because it's in shadow. So when you're aiming and the gun switches hands, what I'm basically doing is I'm flipping this light node so that it's now hiding the other side and then I'm moving the gun hand to the other side as well. And the gun would also be over here. And that's it for this devlog. I'm sorry about the weird video and sound quality in the intro. I'm in the process of changing a bunch of things and so things are rough right now. Some of you have been asking me about that dash tutorial that I promised. I haven't forgotten about it, but tutorials do take quite a bit longer than devlogs to make and I want to make this one really good. It's also just been a really busy summer for me lately, so I haven't had that much time to work on my game or tutorials, but I'm gonna try my best to get back on track. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.